So in this example, um, we have some oxygen that's being generated. So we have this salt in here that is potassium chlorate. It's being heated. You can see the Bunsen burner. And we get potassium chloride. This is a decomposition reaction. And we get oxygen gas. That's the only gas that's formed. So we'll balance it like this. So this is a typical way of producing oxygen. So then the oxygen goes up through the tube and it bubbles up. So originally in this flask it was full of water. The oxygen bubbles up, the water goes down, and we can measure how much oxygen we have. So it says we have 400 mils of oxygen at 25 degrees Celsius. And it says the atmosphere pushing down is 680 torr when it was measured. And then that's going to equal the pressure inside and outside are going to be equal. So that means that the oxygen inside is pushing also at 680 torr. Because the pressure inside and outside have to be the same. But we don't just have oxygen in here. We have oxygen plus water vapor. Because water always evaporates, and there's nothing you can do about that. So th that's the two gases we have in there. And that would equal the total gas. So that's the picture of what we have. And it says, what is the mass of oxygen gas that's collected? So we know we're going to use PV equals NRT. And mass, the way to mass is through moles. So we want to solve for moles. So that's going to be PV over RT. All right, so this has to be the pressure, though, of just the oxygen not the pressure of the water vapor, and that's our problem. So the pressure of the oxygen gas plus the pressure of H2O gas, that's, that's inside here, that's going to equal the pressure of the atmosphere. Okay, but we just want to know this. So we're going to subtract the water vapor from the atmosphere, and that'll give us the pressure of oxygen. All right, so it tells us that the atmosphere is 680 torr. The water vapor pressure, it depends on the temperature. So the hotter this is, the more the water evaporates, which is intuitive. So that's 23.8 torr. That's not measured. We look that up on the table. So the pressure of O2 turns out to be 656 torr. So now we know what the pressure of O2 is. And the volume is 400 milliliters. And we know what R and T are. So I'm going to take 656 torr. I need to change that to atmospheres. And my volume, I'm going to change to liters. So I have pressure times volume. Uh, I'm going to do that in my head. I'm just going to move it over. That's going to be 0 0.4000 liters of oxygen. So there's my pressure times my volume. And RT is going to be 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres over mole Kelvin. And I also want to know the temperature is 25 Celsius. Oops, that's the answer plus 273.15 equals 298 Kelvin. 
All right, so um, that's going to give us our moles, which I'm going to then multiply by, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out, 32.00 grams of O2 for every mole of O2. We'll just do it all in one step. And that turns out to be point. 452 grams of oxygen.